Salut à tous et à toutes. La solidarité avec l'Ukraine continue sur le média anticapitaliste. Aujourd'hui, nous nous entretenons avec deux militantes de l'organisation polonaise Razem, Pauline et Dorota, que nous avons rencontrées sur place à Lviv et qui insistent eh bien, dans ce petit film sur l'importance de l'accueil des réfugiés ukrainiens et ukrainiennes à la frontière entre la Pologne et l'Ukraine, mais plus globalement dans le cadre de l'Union européenne, avec tous les débats qu'on connaît, ce tri sélectif insupportable qu'on n'acceptera jamais. N'hésitez pas à relayer cette vidéo et vive la liberté de circulation et d'installation. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Paulina Matysiak. I am MP and uh, a member of Executive Board of RASEM. And this is Dorota Kolarska, uh, the member of uh, our International Secretary. We are a left-wing uh, party in Poland, obviously. Uh, uh, we have seats and peace um, in uh, our parliament and we represent um, you know, all um, leftist positions there. So we um, fight for workers' rights, we fight for progressive ideas and um, uh, social, social change. Uh, uh, but in terms of the war, um, our position was quite clear from the beginning. Uh, we've condemned the, uh, um, the unjustified aggression of uh, Putin's regime and we uh, were speaking in support of Ukraine and um, Ukraine's social network in particular um, to show the world that there is a leftist perspective, that leftist socialist perspective on the war. And this is a perspective of condemnation and support for Ukraine. Uh, support, uh, support for Ukraine. We have uh, many refugees in Poland right now, like um, two, uh, two million people uh, are in Poland. Uh, but uh, um, uh, the cross the border from Ukraine to Poland, there uh, there were like uh, um, three million people. Uh, so it is a huge. Uh, huge amount of uh, people who need uh, our help in Poland and uh, in the other countries in the Union Europe, U European. Yeah, so um, I think um, the, the, the kind of important issue is that um, Poland has been hosting um, a huge number of refugees and we're quite happy to see um, civil society movements uh, in support of, of, of those refugees. So we've seen um, a very uh, a lot of grassroots organizations um, uh, which are based on voluntary work that uh, hosted people, that provided food, uh, all the necessary stuff to protect refugees. Um, but there is no systemic solution. And I think um, this is a big problem in Poland and we need to call for um, more organized, more systemic um, approach to, to refugees and that's what we've been doing as Razem. We had a um, couple of problems. Uh, first of all, um, the law that was passed in Parliament um, um, unfortunately discriminated um, uh, people who were fleeing um, from Ukraine but um, were non-Ukrainian nationals. Um, so um, the Ukrainian nationals are granted protection in Poland Uh, but it doesn't apply to other people fleeing war from exactly the same country. Uh, we as Razem fought to, um, um, to, 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 to change the bill. We've managed to extend uh, the protection to spouses of uh, Ukrainian nationals, but unfortunately uh, there was resistance from the government to, 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 to extend, it, uh, extend it even further. Um, Th there is a big problem with uh, uh, with access uh, to the abortion for uh, um, refugees, for women refugees from Ukraine, because uh, we have uh, in Poland uh, very restricted law about abortion. There is only two cases when uh, you can get abortion when uh, when is the consequence uh, of a crime, and second uh, when the pregnancy. Uh, it's putting uh, women's life in jeopardy. Yes. So it is uh, really hard to uh, to get abortion to women from Ukraine because uh, they uh, couldn't. Uh, mm, uh, yeah, it's it's very hard to um, because um, you need a confirmation uh, that the uh, some sort of confirmation uh, that the, the 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 pregnancy was a result of crime. And obviously, in the current context, it's almost impossible for uh, Ukraine uh, women to, to get that because um, very often they traumatize, they don't speak the language, um, and they face uh, oftentimes hostile authorities. Um, 
that do not want to um, engage in those uh, those types of um, uh, of issues, uh, especially that many people, uh, doctors, practitioners, uh, authorities in Poland are scared because of very restrictive law um, that is currently hurting Ukrainian refugees, but um, for years has been hurting Polish women too. And we've been collecting signatures uh, to um, to uh, allow to make abortion legal for all women um, in every case, because the woman should be a person that did, uh, that has to make the decision whether she wants abortion or not, and it's her right. Um, so this is the issue that uh, we focus most on, because uh, of course um, here we, now we have a crisis, but this is. This has been a crisis that has been going for years for, for, for Polish women too. Uh, but in terms of uh, short-term work, uh, there are many Polish NGOs that uh, work to provide uh, abortion, um, even under current uh, law, to, uh, to, to, to both Polish and Ukrainian women who, who need that kind of support. So I, I, I would say that supporting those organizations uh, is the most efficient way uh, to provide some, some relief and some help that is so needed right now.